Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick and hopefully uh, effective introduction to Crystal Reports with regard to document layouts and how they're going to load into SAP Business One. So I have on front of us here a packing list which is written or uh, is compiled based on the delivery notes within SAP Business One. So we're going to go through some, not all of this, but just some of it, just looking at the main things that uh, we want to uh, show or not show, depending on the nature of the packing list. So in this context, we have three possible conditions for our packing list. Number one is the standard packing list where we show the products, quantities, unit price, total price, scroll on the bottom. We have our overall price plus any additional um, charge items. And we have the uh, retention of title instructions here as well. So that's the standard. The next thing then is if we have a drop ship address here. So I'm just uh, leaving this in for the mo temporarily just so to identify whether it's a drop ship or not. And I'm just going to be bold here and uh, change this so that we can see what happens. So we're going to set that as um, a drop ship address now and refresh the report. And this now says drop ship. And what's changed now is because it's dropship, we're, we're, we're moving all identifiers to us as the company. We're just the agent acting on behalf of our customer to deliver to a third party address. So we're moving all of the, um, the pricing information here. And rather than leaving a big white space here, I've just allowed the, um, the name, the, the item name to extend. It doesn't, it doesn't um, wrap around, so it doesn't go onto a second line or second row, but it does just uh, kind of use up that space available um, when we're not showing the pricing and if we keep scrolling down then we've also removed the, the subtotals and the retention of title from uh, from this section etc we're still showing the uh, carton count and the tracking number here at the moment uh, we'll maybe talk about that another time so that's that's kind of the first option available so we're just going to go back and set that back on for a moment Okay, so as we say, option one is um, where we have pricing and we're sending this uh, in our own right. Um, so we, we show everything essentially. Option two is where we're uh, drop shipping it. So we're sending it to a third party. And option three is where we're sending it to our customer, but we don't want to show the pricing um, on the document. So the third option then, I see that I have set up a property here to say that I do not show the price on packing lists. And the the question or the statement is in the negative. So if it's left blank, then we do show. And if it's set to on, then we do not show. So um, that's kind of the easiest option because the default is that it's off and it's only on then if we tell it to be on, which by on we mean do not show the pricing. That uh, kind of makes sense. So if we refresh here now, having turned that option on, we should see that the pricing disappears. And again, then I just allow the extension of the name out into that space so that it doesn't look like there's something missing from the document. If we scroll down, we still have our errors, damages, notification, retention of title, etc. Uh, but just no subtotals down here. So those are basically the three possible options. One, it is a show pricing and it's our normal standard delivery note or packing list. Two, uh, show everything except the pricing so do not show pricing and three is it is a drop ship in which case we want to remove all identifiers and pricing that we have at the moment so we just actually load that into um, SAP so to load it into SAP just go back to your SAP database a couple of different ways of getting to this screen, next screen but if we click on the uh, so having opened the delivery note if we click on the layout designer we can actually pick up on this uh, layout and sequence window just click on manage layout here and it opens the report and layout manager and from there we say we want to import a layout and then we just go through the um, the steps to find our layout and in this case it is the pack list we're loading and then we just need to tell it what layout name uh, SAP calls it. So SAP is using the same four characters or four letters as it does for all tables. So if you wanted to load something into uh, the sales orders, those letters are ORDR. Main letters are ORDR in that instance. In the case of delivery notes, it's DLN. So we type in DLN. The first DLN is always the service, or the first document type we see is always the service. The second is the items. So we're doing this as an item type delivery note. So we select that, choose and finish in this case i've already loaded it so it's asking if i want to uh, overwrite it and i do because i have made some recent changes 
may take a few seconds to load, but ultimately, if it appears in the top box here, it means that it has imported, and if it appears in the bottom box, it means it has not. Okay, so now we have um, succeeded in loading our uh, delivery layout. Uh, the other thing that we might want to check then is, is it the default layout? So at the moment, I have highlighted it here. I just clicked on set as default for the current user and for any uh, business partners who don't already have a default um, layout available. So I think in, in most cases, we're going to set this for all users and we'll just have the one layout. The idea is that we should have um, all of the parameters or all of the conditions within the one layout. And we'll talk about the technical side of that in a few minutes. So let's just test it out then. So first thing we'll do then is uh, we'll just modify the business partner and we'll go to the properties here and we'll uncheck that option. So we want to show the prices in this in this case. And the other thing is we want this to be a um, uh, not a drop ship, but a regular um, a shipping um, address for the customer. So let's just see how that looks for us then. So we, we preview that. Yep, so that's it. We have everything showing up. We have our logo, the identifiers for our business, um, the pricing, uh, the retention of title, and the subtotals all happening there. So let's just make it so it's still for that same customer, but we don't show the pricing this time around. So we just turn on the option here for pricing, or do not show pricing, and refresh the report. OK, so it's more or less identical to the first. Of course, uh, now we no longer have the uh, the pricing showing up and the description of the stock items can now extend into the uh, the newly available space. And of course, we don't have the um, subtotals happening down here. We still have our retention and title information, etc. And our third option, then, of course, is if we make this the, uh, the drop ship uh, type um, address. So we'll just come back then, and even in this instance, uh, let's go back and turn on the, uh, or turn off rather, the setting to uh, not show the pricing on the pack list. And preview this document. Now it still says ship to up here. We'll, we'll see in a second that I should have just refreshed this. Um, if I refresh it, it will change to drop ship. And once it's in a drop ship format, then um, we have uh, no pricing, no logos, no retention of title. So those are our three possible options within the one layout. Um, from the technical point of view, what I've done here is in, in the crystal report in the design area, I've basically just created three header sections and three detail sections and identified for myself that uh, this is the non-drop ship section. Um, and, uh, but it shows the prices. Uh, this is the uh, non-drop non ship section, but it does not show the prices. And then this is just the drop ship section. So, uh, aligned to that then, so aligned to these headers sections, we have the detail sections to do the same thing. So um, this one is uh, going to show the prices, this one is going to not show the prices, and this is the drop ship. So that's that's pretty much it. Once that's done, um, we should be good to load that into SAP as we have, we'll be able to preview it and do some testing and experimenting to see that everything works out the way we want it to. Little things that I've just added in here as well. Um, I did actually load this particular delivery note from two separate sales orders. So we have the current sales order or the most up-to-date sales order that we're working with. And then we have an older sales order or a back order, which we're at least partly fulfilling at this stage. So if we drill in here, we should be able to see that sales order and see our um, our, our details as to what quantities were ordered. And um, it tells us then by virtue of the fact that they're grayed out, what lines are um, fully delivered. And if we just, so then if we look over here, we should be able to see that we have our original ordered quantity, we have our delivered to date quantity, and we have our remaining or our open quantity showing up there as well. And that should correlate then with exactly what we're seeing here on um, each of the reports. So within our back order, we'll, we'll see we have our columns then for quantity originally ordered, uh, what's remaining or what's outstanding on back order and what's been shipped in the current packing list. So um, yeah, I think that covers off everything we wanted to achieve in this particular report. Just have that little sort of uh, hyperlink or drilled into the uh, sales order document as well. If you want to, obviously you're printing this uh, from the uh, delivery document. So being able to just kind of drill back into one of the uh, sales orders might be of help. Okay, I hope you find that useful. If you have any questions or if I can help you in any way, if you want to just leave a note in the comments or um, I'll leave my email address in the, in the details in, in the description as well. Thanks.